Well, Mr. Bright, the good news is you did not have a heart attack. You had a stress-related coronary event and no coronary tissue died. There was no ischemia. Yeah, so it's like I just had a Charlie horse with a heart. Hmm, I've heard it put worse. The bad news is MRI and CAT scans picked up masses in your cerebellum, spleen, kidney, left lung, and colon. You are covered in cancer. It started out as a melanoma under the hairline. That's probably why you didn't notice it. Yeah, I had a mole. Yes, but it was malignant, a melanoma. It spread under the scalp into the brain and metastasized throughout the entire body. The fuck are you talking about? I just had a heart attack, you dumb fucking bitch. Did you get your charts mixed up? Why don't you get some new glasses and read the fucking name Max Bright? Heart attack. Fuck. What's the IV? Fuck the IV. What are you trying to do? Give me another fucking heart attack? There's some poor son of a bitch down the hall who's got cancer, and now he's tossing his cookies because someone just told me I had a heart attack yesterday. You get the fuck out of my room and send me a real doctor. A man? Yeah, a man, you quack. I hope you got malpractice insurance. The areas highlighted in red are cancer. Cancer? 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 Possible? Possible? How do I know this? I don't know this. I've... I've never been sick a day in my life. It's covered in cancer. This is bullshit. I'm fine. Well, we wouldn't expect you to start feeling the organ tumors just yet. They're still in the silent stage, but don't even try telling me you're not experiencing headaches. He has many headaches. Would you shut up? I don't have cancer. I'd feel it. I'd feel something. Not just a few headaches. You don't feel sharp, stabbing pains when you bend over? Yes. Mm hmm That's the spleen. How about blurring a vision when you're trying to read? Pushing 40. All right, I need some reading glasses. Optic nerve. Are you having trouble controlling your urination at times? That would be the kidney and possibly the bladder. I'd like a second opinion. All right. Where would you like to go? I'd go to the fucking Mayo Clinic, started by two brothers, men. Mayo brothers. I was an oncologist in Mayo's for five years. I can make some phone calls, send them your charts, possibly get you in next week. Thank you. Mr. Bright, this is too much to take in. You've got some time. Use it. What the hell is that, man? There's a 22-year-old girl down in the morgue today. She had an aneurysm right in the middle of a photo shoot. She never knew what hit her. But you, you have some time. And so we're just throwing in the towel here. No uh, chemotherapy, no stem cell transplants, whatever. Making fucking shitloads of progress in the fight against cancer. They seem to know about this, the Mayo Clinic. Mr. Bright, we do all that here. Do you hear what she's saying? She's saying that you are dying from cancer. I'm an oncologist. I've seen thousands of people die. There are good deaths and there are bad deaths. No, there are no good deaths. And there sure as hell are bad deaths. There's deaths filled with pain, disorientation, constant vomiting. I can get you out of here in 24 hours. You can go home. You can be with your family, your wife. When the pain comes, we can control that. But if you want to fight it with chemo and radiation, you're going to be stuck here in this hospital, sick as a dog, constantly vomiting, and it won't add any significant time to your life. How much insignificant time do I have left? A few months. 
That's just great. going to die young, that's a terrible thing, but you have time to put your affairs in order. You have time to get ready. You have time. Use it. <laughs>